Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the hackers roadmap at the Simply Land YouTube channel. As vast as the field of cyber security is, there is often an overflow of information about it at the same time. For people who wish to know more about how to venture into the cyber security or ethical hacking space, it is very important for them to know what's the career progression, what are the skills needed and how a person with no or bare minimum knowledge can take their first step in this amazing career. Well, this video is for all those individuals who wish to pursue a career in the field of cyber security and ethical hacking. Whether you are an entry level professional, a college graduate or an experienced professional looking to understand how a career in the field of cyber security progresses and what additional skills and responsibilities would you need as you grow in the field, then you are at the right place. So let's get started with our topic, the hackers roadmap. And before we begin, if you are someone who is interested in building a career in cyber security by graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers with cybersecurity by learning from the experts. Then try giving a shot to Simply Lens postgraduate program in cybersecurity with modules from MIT Schwarzman College of Engineering. The course link is mentioned in the description box that will navigate you to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like and press on the bell icon to never miss on further content. So stay tuned with us until the end of this video and don't forget to register your opinion in the comment section below. And now, we will start with what is ethical hacking and how is it different from hacking. So in the world of cybersecurity, hacking can be broadly categorized into two types, ethical hacking and unethical hacking. Ethical hacking involves using the same tools and techniques as malicious hackers to identify and fix security vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. And these experts, known as white hat hackers, work with a focus on security rather on theft. And on the other hand, we have unethical hacking that refers to unauthorized access to digital devices or networks with malicious intent performed by black hat hackers. And additionally, there are gray hat hackers who possess knowledge in offensive and defensive computer use, sometimes working as security consultants during the day and engaging in black hat activities at night. It is important to understand these distinctions to protect against cyber threats effectively. Now we'll see the objective or roles of an ethical hacker. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their skills and expertise to identify vulnerabilities in system and network before malicious hackers can exploit them. Their primary objective is to simulate real-world attacks and help organizations strengthen their security measures. The role of an ethical hacker involves several key phases. And we'll see those roles and key phases. So they are responsible for reconnaissance, scanning, gain and maintain access, clear their tracks, document their findings and compile detailed reports. So firstly, they conduct thorough reconnaissance, gathering information about the target system or organization. This includes understanding the organization's structure, network infrastructure and potential weak points. And through scanning, they identify the easiest and quickest methods to gain access to the network and gather further information. And once access is gained, ethical hackers maintain it, allowing them to exercise their privileges and control the connected systems. This step helps them identify any potential security flaws and weaknesses within the network. They also work to clear their tracks, covering their footsteps to evade detection and ensuring the security personnel cannot trace their activities. And throughout the entire process, ethical hackers document their findings, compile detailed reports on the vulnerabilities discovered, and provide recommendations to address and mitigate the identified security issues. Their vulnerability goal is to help organizations strengthen their defenses, prevent data breaches, and protect sensitive information from falling into the wrong hands. Ethical hacking is a crucial aspect of cybersecurity as it allows organizations to stay one step ahead of cyber threats. By leveraging the skills of ethical hackers, businesses can proactively identify and address vulnerabilities ensuring the overall security and integrity of their digital infrastructure. So now we'll see the skills that needed to be an ethical hacker. So now we'll see the skills. So the first skill is knowledge of computer networks, then it's the programming languages, then the knowledge of web applications, databases, ethical hacking tools, and knowledge of common attack vectors and techniques then what certificates that are required for an ethical hacker. Now we will start with knowledge of computer networks. Understanding computer networks is fundamental for ethical hackers. This includes concepts such as IP addressing, network protocols, example TCP IP, 
routing, switching, and firewalls. A strong grasp of how networks function will enable you to identify vulnerabilities and potential entry points. The next is programming languages. Proficiency in programming languages is essential for effective ethical hacking. Languages like Python, Java, C++, and scripting languages such as Perl or Ruby are widely used in this field. Programming skills enable you to write custom scripts and tools, automate tasks, and exploit vulnerabilities. And the next we have is web applications. In today's digital landscape, web applications are often the target of attacks. Therefore, a solid understanding of web application architecture, protocols, example HTTP, and security mechanisms, example SSL, TLS, is crucial. Knowledge of web programming languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and frameworks like PHP or ASP.NET is also beneficial. Then we have databases. So databases store and manage sensitive data, making them attractive targets for hackers. Familiarize yourself with database management systems DBMS such as MySQL, Oracle, or Microsoft SQL Server. Learn about database security, including access control, encryption, and vulnerability assessment. Then we should focus on the skill to have a knowledge on ethical hacking tools. So to perform ethical hacking tasks efficiently, you should be familiar with various hacking tools. These include network scanners, example Nmap, vulnerability scanners, example Nessus, password crackers, John the Riper, packet snipers, Wireshark, and exploitation frameworks, Metasploit. Mastering these tools will enhance your effectiveness as an ethical hacker. Then you should have knowledge of common attack vectors and techniques. That is, understanding common attack vectors and techniques is vital for an ethical hacker. This includes knowledge of different types of malware, social engineering, network attacks, that is, DDoS, and web application vulnerabilities, example cross-site scripting. Staying up-to-date with the latest threats and attack methodologies is crucial for effective defense. The next is Certificates. So, obtaining relevant certifications demonstrates your expertise and commitment to the field. Certificates like Certified Ethical Hacker, CH, Offensive Security Certificate, Professional, OSCP, or CompTIA Security Plus are highly regarded within the industry. They validate your skills and can boost your credibility when seeking ethical hacking opportunities. The CEH certification is a multiple choice exam that evaluates your understanding of the penetration testing structure and the tools that are utilized inside it. It gives job seekers the information security field a head start by ensuring that the certificate holder understands the fundamentals such as information gathering, attacking computers or servers, wireless attacks and social engineering. So the objective of CEH is inform the public that credentialized individuals meet or exceed the minimum standards. Second, establish and govern minimum standards of credentiality. Third, professional information security specialist in ethical hacking. So now we'll have an exam overview. So the exam name is EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker. And the exam duration is 240 minutes. And you will get questions. That is 125 questions you will get in the exam. And it is a multiple choice question exam. And the passing score you need is 70%. And to register for the exam, you should go to Pearson View or ECC Exam Center. And eligibility criteria for CH is there are two ways to satisfy the eligibility criteria. That is, attend official CH training. And this can be in any format. Example, instructor-led training, computer-based training, or live online training as long as the program is approved by EC Council and attempt without official training. In order to be considered for the EC Council certification exam without attending official training, you must have two or more years of documented information security experience. Remit a non-refundable eligibility application fee of $100, submit completed CH exam eligibility form including verification from an employer. Upon approval, EC Council will email you a voucher number to register for the CH exam. So this was all about the CH exam. And now we'll move to the steps to become ethical hacker. So ethical hacking is an exciting and rapidly growing field that requires a combination of technical skills, knowledge, and a strong sense of ethics. By following these steps, you can begin your journey towards becoming an ethical hacker and contribute to enhancing cybersecurity. So step one, that is knowledge of computer systems and networks. Step two, you should have proficiency in programming languages. Step 3. Networking and security concepts. You should have a knowledge of it. Third, Knowledge of web application and database. Fifth, Understanding of operating systems. Step 6. 
familiarity with ethical hacking tools. Step 7. Problem solving and analytical thinking. Step 8. Knowledge of common attack vectors and techniques. Step 9. Certifications. So now we will elaborate all the steps one by one. So we'll start with knowledge of computer systems and networks. So to become an ethical hacker, it is crucial to have a deep understanding of computer systems and networks. This involves familiarizing yourself with the inner workings of computer system, network protocols, operating systems, and how different components interact within a network environment. By gaining this knowledge, you will be better equipped to identify vulnerabilities and assess potential security risks. And the next is proficiency in programming languages. So programming languages are an essential tool for ethical hackers. By gaining proficiency in programming languages such as Python, C++, Java, JavaScript, SQL, Perl, and Ruby, you will be able to develop your own scripts, automate tasks, and create exploit codes. These programming languages provide the foundation for writing secure and efficient code, as well as manipulating and analyzing data. The next step is networking and security concepts. To effectively assess and secure networks, it is important to have a solid understanding of networking and security concept. This includes familiarizing yourself with topics such as network protocols, network security principles, encryption techniques, and firewall configurations. Understanding how data is transmitted, secured, and protected in a network environment will enable you to identify potential vulnerabilities and implement appropriate security measures. Step 4. Knowledge of Web Application and Database Knowledge so in today's interconnected world, web applications and databases are common targets for hackers. Therefore, it is crucial to develop a strong understanding of web application architectures, web protocols and database systems. Pay special attention to common vulnerabilities specific to web applications such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting XSS, and cross-site request forgery CSR. by gaining expertise in these areas. You will be able to effectively assess the security of web applications and databases and provide appropriate recommendations for securing them. And the next step is understanding of operating systems. So operating systems form the backbone of computer systems and are often targeted by hackers. It is important to gain a comprehensive understanding of different operating systems such as Windows, Linux or Mac OS. This includes understanding system configurations, file permissions, user management and security mechanism specific to each operating system. This knowledge will enable you to identify vulnerabilities, apply patches, and secure operating systems effectively. Step 6. Familiarity with ethical hacking tools. Ethical hackers rely on a variety of tools to assess and secure systems and networks. Familiarize yourself with popular ethical hacking tools such as Matsplotlib, Wireshark, Nmap, Burpsuit, Kali Linux, Canvas, SQL Ninja, and Wapiti. These tools provide functionalities for vulnerability scanning, network sniffing, exploit development, and penetration testing. Understanding how to use these tools effectively will enhance your capabilities as an ethical hacker. Now we'll see the step 7, that is problem solving and analytical thinking. So being an ethical hacker requires strong problem solving skills and the ability to think analytically. You will often encounter complex systems and face intricate security challenges. Developing your problem solving abilities and analytical thinking will help you approach these challenges systematically, identify vulnerabilities and devise effective strategies to mitigate risk. It is essential to stay updated with the latest security trends and technologies to enhance your problem solving skills. And the step 8 is knowledge of common attack vectors and techniques. So to defend against potential threats, you must familiarize yourself with common hacking techniques and attack vectors used by malicious hackers. This includes social engineering, phishing attacks, password cracking, network based attacks and more. Understanding how these attacks work and the methodologies used will enable you to proactively identify and prevent potential security breaches. And now the step 9 that is certifications. While certifications are not mandatory to start a career in ethical hacking, they can provide a structured learning path and validate your skills and knowledge. Consider pursuing certifications such as certified ethical hacker. CEH Offensive Security Certified Professional, OSCP Certified Information System Security Professional, CISSP Certified Penetration Testing Engineer, CPTE, and Certified Security Analyst, ECSA. These certifications demonstrate your expertise and dedication to the field, enhancing your credibility as an ethical hacker. Now we'll see the job roles in ethical hacking field. So, starting with 
like there are several job roles in ethical hacking such as here's an elaboration on each job role in ethical hacking and we'll see some of the major ethical hacker job roles so starting with ethical hacker so an ethical hacker is a skilled professional who legally attempts to penetrate computer system and networks to identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses they use their knowledge to strengthen the security infrastructure and protect against cyber threats and the next is network security engineer network security engineers specialize in securing and maintaining computer networks within an organization they implement and manage security measures such as firewalls intrusion detection systems and virtual private networks that is vpns to protect sensitive data then we have cyber security analyst so cyber security analyst monitor and analyze systems for potential security breaches or incidents they investigate threats develop security protocols and implement measures to protect against attacks the next is penetration tester penetration testers also known as ethical hackers simulate real world attacks to identify vulnerabilities in computer systems networks and applications they conduct thorough assessments and provide recommendations for improving security. The next is Information Security Manager. Information Security Managers are responsible for overseeing an organization's overall security strategy and ensuring the protection of sensitive data. They develop and implement security policies, manage security teams, and handle incident response. And the next is Cybersecurity Engineer. So, Cybersecurity Engineers design and implement security systems including firewalls, encryption protocols, and intrusion detection systems. They also conduct risk assessments and perform security audits to maintain a security environment. And the next is Security Consultant. Security Consultants provide expert advice and guidance on security strategies and solutions. They assess vulnerabilities, develop security plans, and assist organizations in improving their overall security posture. In the United States, these requirements are very high. And this was all for this tutorial. And now let's take a minute to hear from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers. And this was all for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Let's take a minute to hear from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year, I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples and was led by highly skilled and certified instructors. I worked with many companies before as a security analyst and an architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability, which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. It happened after I took the First and foremost, I've been a learner. Be a learner first. And if you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more from Simp. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.